Every day, Elia carried the little piglet up the mountain and sang to it as it drank from the stream. As the pig grew fatter, Elia grew stronger. On the day of Maria's 15th birthday, Elia's pig weighed over 50 stones. Martin Zeroni had told him to carry the pig up the mountain on the day as well, but Elia didn't want to present himself for Myra smelling like a pig. Instead, he took a bath. It was his second bath in less than a week. Once he led the pig to Myra. Then he led the pig to Myra. Igor Barkov was there with his pig as well. These are two pigs of a the finest pig I ever seen, Marwa's father declared. He was also impressed with Elia, who seemed to have grown bigger and stronger in the la last two months. I used to think we we're a good for nothing book reader, he said. But I see you could be an excellent mud wrestler. May I marry your daughter? Elia boldly asked. First, I must wait the pigs. At last, poor Elia should have carried the pig up the mountain one last time. The two pigs weighed exactly the same. Stanley's blisters had ripped open a new Blisters formed. He kept changing his grip on shovel to try to avoid the pain. Finally, he removed his cap and held it between the shaft on, of his shovel and his, his raw hands. This helped, but digging was harder because the cap would slip and slide. The sun beat down on his unprotect had a neck. Through, he tried to convince himself otherwise. He'd been aware for a while that he, that his piles of dirt were too close to his hole. The piles were outside his five-foot circle, but he could see his he was going to run off the room. Still, he pretended otherwise it, and kept adding more dirt to the piles. Piled that he would eventually have to move. The problem was that when the dirt was in the ground, it was compact. It expanded when it was excavated. The piles were a lot bigger than his hole was deep. It was either now or later. Well, Reluctantly, he climbed up out of his hole and once again dug his shovel into his pro pro previously dug dirt. Myra's father got down on his hands and knees and closely examinedly ex examinedly it uh, examined its pig tail to snort. Those are two of the finest pig I have ever seen, he said at least. How am I to this decide? I have only one daughter. Why not let Mara decide? Suggested Elia. That preposterous exclaimed Igor, expelling sla saliva as he spoke. Mara is just an empty-headed girl, said her father. How can she, she po possibly decide when I, her father, can't? She knows how she feels in the heart, said Elia. Mara's father rubbed his chin. <laughs> Then he laughed and said, why not? He slapped Elia on the back. It doesn't matter to me. A pig is a pig. He summoned his daughter. Elia blushed when Mara entered the room. Good afternoon, Mara, he said. 
She looked at him. You are Elia, right? She asked. Myra, said her father. Elia and Igor have each offered a pig for your hand in marriage. It doesn't matter to me. A pig is a pig. So I will let you make a choice. Whom do you wish to marry? Mar Myra looked confused. You want me to decide? That's right, my blossom, said her father. Gee, I don't know, said Myra. Which pigs weighs more? They both weigh the same, said her father. Golly, said Myra. I guess just Elia. No, Igor. No, Elia. No, Igor. Oh, I know. I think of a number between one and ten. I'll marry whoever guesses the closest number. Okay, I'm ready. Ten guesses the war. Elia said nothing. Elia said Myra. What number do you guess? Elia didn't pick a number. Very war, he muttered. You can keep my pig as a wedding present.